Destination weddings are regaining their popularity after a pandemic slump. An estimated 18% of weddings last year took place at venues requiring the couple to travel. Wedding publication, the wedding publication The Knot says the most popular locations for destination weddings are Mexico, Europe, the Caribbean, and Costa Rica. But having a wedding out of town can also mean an increased cost, not just for the couple, but for the guests. For more on this, I'm joined by Michelle Singletary. She's a personal finance columnist at The Washington Post. Uh, Michelle, I have, for many years since I planned my first destination wedding, uh, told people it makes sense because only the people who really want to go will make it. The rest will send you a very nice gift. But what is behind this boom right now? <laughs> You know, we're coming off of COVID. Lots of people, weddings were shut down. And so now we're, you know, in a period where people are traveling more. They want to travel. Couples want to get married away from maybe where they, the town where they lived. Um, and so, you know, people are doing a lot of revenge uh, spending when it comes to having the wedding of their dreams. Uh, and and here's the thing. No, no offense to you, but <laughs> I hate destination weddings. For sure. Because I just. I agree. I have missed just, so many. Right. <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure on people um, to attend. I mean, uh, and you said it, people say people who really want to come, but people really want to come, but they may not have the money. Yeah. And and many people don't have the wherewithal to say no. They come anyway. They put money on their credit cards. They stretch themselves. Um, and that's the problem. It's really hard for people to say no to someone who they love and they want to be there um, for that special day. Yeah. One thing that um, I, I, I love that some people are doing it on Zoom so the family can join. Um, but one thing that I I would think about too is that some places are a lot less expensive. If you're planning a wedding in the United States, you know, you might as well forget putting your kids through college. And that personally, I think is ridiculous. So is it possible to have a destination wedding? I mean, does it make sense on a budget that is that why some people do it in comparison to a local wedding? I think people do it because that's where they want to have their wedding. Okay. That's fine. Don't expect people to come if they can't afford it. I personally think that when you plan your wedding, you ought to be considerate of who can come and who you want to come. Um, you know, if you want to go to a destination uh, for your wedding, go there for your honeymoon. Um, you know, I just think it's way too much pressure on people knowing that folks may come even if they can't afford it. And if you get that invitation, do your budget first. Let the budget be the bad guy and tell the person, I just can't afford to go. If you're invited to be in the wedding, also do the budget and be honest with yourself um, and, and stop saying, this is my day. You know, where I say, this is my day. This is not your day. Because if it was your day, then you would just get married with just your attendant and a witness. You know, it's a day that you want to share with people. So don't think of it as a selfish thing. Think of it as who do I want to come and what is the most affordable way to have this event to the people I love? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this segment to my producer Luisa, who I'm, whose wedding I'm going to tomorrow in another continent. Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs>